Do you practice a martial art? Have you ever been hit by lightning in the dojo? I mean, have you ever been practicing and experienced something that you just cannot explain? I've been doing martial arts a lot of years. Most of the time, it is what it is. But sometimes, it's something else. I'll tell you a story. It's going to sound like bullshit, but I'll tell you anyway. This was back uh, quite a while, probably 1976. Back at the uh, old Forest Avenue Dojo in uh, Portland, Maine. I was training under Sensei Percy Simon at that time. And uh, the jo dojo was generally closed on Sundays, but uh, it was open to us, you know, the, the regular uh, gang. And uh, this particular Sunday, as I recall, it was in the summer. And it was a beautiful day. And we, we joked about how only an idiot would be in the dojo practicing when it's so beautiful out, you know. It was uh, Jim and Don and me. And we were, we were pals. We knew each other pretty well. And uh, we were about the same rank and uh, same experience. And it came to pass that we decided to do some two-on-one sparring. And it was my turn to be in the middle. And then something happened. And, and, and I'm not sure exactly what it was. What I think happened is this. I think that Jim and Don both somehow conceived and executed the same idea at the same time. They, they each threw a punch at exactly the same moment. I mean, really at the same time, like they had rehearsed it for hours and hours and hours and hours, right? It was exactly at the same time. And I think what I did was to block the punches up, grab their gi sleeves, and I put a foot up on one guy's chest, and I put the other foot up on the other guy's chest, and I rolled back and I threw them both over my head, kind of like Tomonagi on steroids. And when that happened, I couldn't believe it. Indeed, we looked at each other and said, what the fuck just happened? What did you just do? How did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> so the only rational response in, uh, under such conditions is to just laugh like a hyena, which is, which is what we did. We laughed so hard we were rolling on the floor. You can't believe it. You did that. How'd you do that? It was, just, it was crazy. But the question remains, how the hell did I do that? I had never practiced that. I didn't plan that. I didn't consciously say, oh, oh boy, oh boy, here's my opportunity to, to look slick. I didn't do it as much as it just happened all by itself. And I, I, I just happened to be standing there when it did, you know. This, this event has ever since bewitched, bothered, and bewildered me. <laughs> what the hell happened? How was that possible? And I don't have any good answers. Um, how did I do that? But, but more important, why can't I do that all the time? Why can't I do that all the time with everything? You know? What kind of reality <laughs> was I in? You know? And how do I get back there? Because 
I'd like that reality to be to be my mailing address. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I would like to live right there, where everything is perfect. <sighs> you ever had a moment like that? Anything like that ever happened to you? Anyway, uh, I have since read Abraham Maslow and uh, Religion, Values, and Big Experiences. And maybe we'll put a link down below for you. So if you haven't read it, you can, you can go through it. It's a quick read. It's a, sh it's a short piece. But all it does is, is describe the phenomenon. It doesn't, you know, it, it, it tells you what the car is, but it doesn't tell you how to drive it. <laughs> um, and that's what I'd like to know. That's what I'd like to know. I'd like to know how you can, how you can go back there, how you can make that happen. Or maybe you can't make it happen. You have to let it happen or see, I'm already starting to talk in circles here, right? Um, what do you think of that? What do you think is going on? Your guess is as good as mine, so don't hesitate. Put what you put your comments uh, below and uh, tell me what you think.